Okay, today I'm out to the lake, uh, just getting, trying to catch fish, wife's in the chair behind me, caught a few little bait fish and a few crappie, but none of the crappie are big enough to keep, so we've been turning them loose as we catch them. Boats are going back and forth, so that's creating a wake, which is causing a lot of wave action, which you're probably hearing in the background. Uh, today I'm here with... I haven't done it yet. I'm just it's a good time to do it. Henry McKenna. Henry McKenna, aged 10 years. It's a single barrel bottled and bond bourbon whiskey, 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. It, this barrel number, this is barrel number 2805, barreled on 6806, which means it was bottled in 2016. Uh <clears throat> I purchased this probably 2018, I'm thinking, and I gave the original price of $24.99 for it. I know it's went up considerably since then. Uh, I've tried it several times. I've kind of put off reviewing it because it just it never really struck a nerve with me. And I had it probably a year and a half before I ever even opened it. Like I said, it's bottom bond, 100 proof. No, it's got the age statement on it, but same distillery, same distiller, same season, uh, same warehouse, all the bottom and bond parts. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for just a minute. That's weird, it beat it up on the side of the glass few weird beads. I don't know if it's because I brought it in from the truck. It's been air conditioned and out here it's warmer so might be a temperature difference causing that. That's weird. I never had to do that before. Still giving me a little bubble right there. Well that was stupid. <laughs> Look I didn't flick any of it out. There's still a bead there too. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, for 10-year product, it is medium plus two probably. It's not incredibly dark like you might expect from a 10-year-old, but it is darker. Uh, it's beautiful the way the trees in the background, you guys can't see the way it reflects upside down in the glass. I've seen pictures and that's the first time I've actually ever just sat here and noticed it staring into the glass. It's pretty stinking cool. Anyway, we've got a decent <laughs> got a decent coating on the glass. I mean it's good adherence, slow forming, so I expect some viscosity with it. <sighs> hmm. I get the caramel and the rye right off. <clears throat> There's vanillas. There's some alcohol component to this. Oh, lots of vanillas. There's a nice dill too. Some spiciness there. A little nutmeg, black pepper. It's more nutmeg than cinnamon to me, <clears throat> but there's a definite black pepper component too. Let's go ahead and hit the palate.
astringent. It has a slight astringency, which I find surprising for a 10 year old product. Still with the caramels, good oily mouthfeel, vanilla, black pepper dominates for me in the spice department on this one. Black peppers to the forefront. Uh, there's still the nutmeg there, the dry, dusty, dusty nutmeg note. Very drying on the mouth. It starts off very, uh, has a very good mouth coating on starts up. Starts at the beginning of the palate, but it dries, and we're drying fairly quickly. But the finish is hanging around. It's just not carrying that oily long texture you would expect with the other bourbons that sometimes I get. I'm not quite, I'm not getting that with this per se. Um, it's got a good finish though. It's still going. I don't want to get stung by a wasp. I got a wasp flying around. He won't bother me. I won't kill him. I'm enjoying the finish on this. It's a nice, good, long finish. Keeps hanging around. Oh, I probably turn that bottle around so y'all can see the front of the bottle. I mean, that's, I don't know what I'm thinking. It does come from KYDSP KY31, whatever the distillery number is on that one. Finish still there, guys. It's good, long finish on this. Finish is the it, it, it's got a dusty dill note that carries on into the finish from the rye. There's almost a light rye breadiness to it. Let's do it again. Because there's there is a corn sweetness on the beginning that's giving me that caramely note. Excuse me. And I hope that boat behind me is not making too much noise. You guys can't hear. Excuse me. Uh, it's, it's really good. Let's let's do another sip. The caramel note and the sweetness, and there's a corn sweetness up front. There's a definitive corn sweetness, but it's not a corny note. That sounds silly to say it that way. It's not like I'm chewing corn off the cob or, or creamed corn. I'm not getting anything quite like that. Maybe more like a corn syrup sweetness in the note. But there's a definite caramel, a rich caramel. And the vanilla is excellent in this. This one's the vanilla. The, it really is. The vanilla and the black pepper interplay and the length of the finish makes this one really shine. It does turn that dusty note, that very dry note, but the dry note helps it in the length of the finish. Usually, sometimes when things dry, it makes a shorter finish. This one, not so much. This one's a good long finish on this one. There's something that needs to be said before I go any further. These vary batch to batch. So what I get on this one bottle, because these are single barrels. What I'm getting on this single barrel, somebody may not get on theirs, and other people may get different effects on theirs. So you are going to have some variability from, and it's well known that Henry McKenna varies from barrel to barrel. That's a common thing. Uh, definitely worth the $24.99 uh, I don't know. It's went up to thirty dollars and more in some places. I, I've heard in some places it's an ab, obnoxious price. Now that's a hornet. That's exactly what that is. That's a red hornet. Come on now, just leave me alone. See, that's part of the part of the part of the ambiance of doing these things live and outside. You get hornets. We had a wood carpenter bee flying around a while ago. Flies, mosquitoes, but it's all part of the fun. 
We want to hopefully catch us. Sun goes down. Hopefully, we'll start catching us some catfish. But until then, we're just going to enjoy what's going on. Enjoy the coolness, being outside, breathing the fresh air, enjoying the Henry McKenna. Uh, I haven't given you guys a score yet. The astringency in it kind of holds it back just a little bit for me. So I think with the astringency and the little bit of it, for a 10-year-old, I don't think it should carry the alcohol note it actually carries in it, which is not common. I don't get that on the Elijah Craig uh, 12s, for instance. I, they don't carry the, even the uh, current Elijah Craig doesn't quite carry the alcohol note this one carries in it. Uh, so that's a bit of a detractor for me. Uh, do I enjoy it? Yes. Is it worth the price? Yes. Uh, you know, I'm going to give it an 88 out of 100. 88 today. Some days it may be an 89. Some days it may be an 87, depending on my mood. But a solid 88 out of 100, which is very drinkable. Very good bourbon. Nothing wrong with it. Just a little bit astringent. Just a little bit a little bit too much ethanol up front for a 10 year old. You gotta remember this is a 10 year old product. So we're expecting a little less ethanol in bourbons, especially once we kind of crest that that range. So I babbled on long enough for you guys. So remember the spirit of glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip and enjoy it. You'll be better for it. I hope you guys got to enjoy the lake and all the people having fun. And it's a nice day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's almost summertime. We're in late spring right now, so I will get off here because I'm babbling right now. <laughs> Later, everybody. Mm -hmm.